All right, so now what's going to happen is we'll run into a bit of old gas company infrastructure. And that's pretty much all she wrote. We're about out of here. The trail heads this way. And you can see this old mess of infrastructure crap. And these seem to be funny little gas monitors. Pipes in the ground for early warning system of leaks from any of the high pressure gas lines passing through. And this is all an old fuel tank system, I believe. And then, let's see, I think we take a turn this way eventually, huh? Mm -hmm. Haha. <laughs> the logo. Yeah. It's kind of hidden already. Yeah. But you broke. <laughs> oh yeah. Well that can't be faulted. But yeah, he, the way he sets them up, they're nearly always... Good it's as if he's telepathic about uh -huh. when a hiker is going to wonder where the hell they are. And just as they're beginning to have a little qualm, a little pang of confusion. There's the ever pleasant blaze standing there to reassure. And really the rest of it is like the service road thing. And you can see the old decaying pavement. Ah, a little bit of bracket fungus and the ubiquitous invasive Japanese knotweed. This looks like it would be a fun place for mountain bike stuff and whatnot as well. And ahead, up there, we'll be encountering the gate. <sighs> you go down a little hill, one can hear the distant sound of minor traffic up ahead. Some drumming. That can't be a school. Yeah, cool. Not way up there. Yeah. Why not? It might be because it just flew away. But that wasn't it. Well, that was making the squee noise. 
Yeah, it's drumming. I know. Yeah. No. Yeah. There goes another scolding chipmunk. Ah, oh, there we go. I can see the road. <laughs> and there it is, the trailhead. There it is. And with a jogger. <laughs> 